What is going on guys, Rubio Gaming 17 here, back with another part of Resident Evil. Picking up exactly where we left off last time. It's been a while since I since I played, so I don't quite remember exactly what was happening. Um but based off of my inventory, I believe we got the one of the mansion keys here. And that's, that's about all I remember. But anyways, we'll figure it out as we go. We'll keep exploring. We'll see what happens. I hope all of you guys are having a great day today. Hope you're all doing well, staying healthy, staying safe. Um, thank you all for being here. First and foremost, we'll see what spooky horrors we have in store today. Not exactly sure what I need at the moment since we're just going to be wandering around. I could probably see what doors I can open with said keys. If I remember correctly, we were, were able to discard items once we're done using them. Um... I'll keep the check. So we'll go ahead and do that just to, you know, open up things, get rid of things, collect some stuff, and go from there. Take a quick look at the map. Um, this will probably give me some idea as to what I need to do. Probably not, but okay. The basement we haven't really explored, so we could probably go do that. Uh, there's a lot on the first floor. Okay, that door's open. I believe I explored here already. I think this is where I got the broken shotgun, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And since we're here, we'll do that. Ah, crap. Big rip. Big rip. And... Set that dude on fire. So I remember last time, one of those guys came back to life. And they started running. Okay, let me see. So we just unlocked that door at the end of the corridor. Should maybe go explore that. See what that's all about. Uh, probably head back to the dining room as well. And get the... Um... Why is it red? In progress. Go back there, get the blue gem that we have there. Check out the basement since it's on the way. And yeah, unlock some doors over there. So let's do that. Fun times ahead. You're not dead. <laughs> and I used my last dagger.
We're just gonna run out here. We'll e explore those stores in a bit. Um, they've ran out of kerosene, haven't I? Have I? Okay, I have one use left. Um, I think this was an item I could get as well, right? Yep. Probably won't take it just yet. We'll take that, though. And... I guess we'll go shoot that zombie in the corridor, go to the basement, see what's down there. If anything, unlock this next door. Okay, that's a door. Nice. So we got rid of one key. Still have this other one. I'm assuming that'll be doors on the second floor probably. ominous at all. At least we have a dagger. Uh, how much more to the basement is there? A locked door over there. Two locked doors. Hmm. Oh, that's an ammo clip right there. Oh boy. gonna run away from you sir yeah we're just gonna we're gonna go back up to that door we unlocked earlier was it this one it was. Explore what's in here real quick. Uh, okay. ink ribbon. I don't know if I need that right now. There's a piano. Oh, wait, what? What is this? Take that. Um, we 
now for sure. We can take the ink ribbon. Hmm. No, I'm not trying to look at the picture again. I'm trying to leave. Alright, so we'll head back to the um, the safe room. Since we can't carry any more stuff, uh, I gotta figure out where to put that blue gem. And we'll come back and explore these two rooms next. Actually, let's explore this. little room here. Okay, we'll take that, yeah. I hope there's nothing in here. I hope it's just like a closet or something. Closet looking indeed. There's an inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Blue. Blue. Yeah, see, gems always go into something. Always. I learned that from Resident Evil 4. <laughs> A gem can always fit into something else. But... Now I need to find a yellow one? I'm assuming? To go on the other eye? That'll probably give me something else, maybe more ammo. Oh my god. And there's another... Door at the end of that hallway, another room. But, and there's a battery pack here. Can't take it, can I? I can. Oh, it's for the stun gun. Makes sense. Okay. She dead. He ain't dead. <laughs> Oof, okay. Alright, so we're making some progress. I have no clue what the musical score is used for. It might have something to do with that piano in that room, but... We'll get to it when we get to it. Uh... Reload our shotgun and where did we fill up on kerosene? That was that room next um It was just right around the corner, right? Pretty sure. Should probably start taking notes. Don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. We'll go ahead and save real quick. Just in case we die. See, this is the, for me, this is the fun aspect of games like these, like this. Because it's all puzzle solving, everything goes into somewhere. 
Gotta figure out what goes where, where to find it. Puzzles, man. Stimulates the brain. And the zombies are there to just put the fear in you. Make you feel a little bit less lonely. Let you know that you're wanted. Because they all chase after you. And this is the only key we got, right? Yep. Alright. Still gotta figure out what the chemicals are for. At first, I thought they were to help you grow certain plants, but probably not. You, sir, need to die, like, yesterday. Because he's taking up all my daggers. Okay, I think that's the last of the kerosene. Okay, we got three fills out of it. So three might be the limit. Depending on how much it's full. Alright. There's one door here. I hate going into rooms. Ah, crap. For that. Oh my god, we only had one use. Well. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Jesus. Seen that before? Alright, Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. Would have been three years old at the time. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was a big winner, but I think he was cheating, scumbag. One of the higher ups assigned to me. One of the higher-ups assigned to me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. I don't know what's going on with me today, but I cannot read words today. They all look so blurry. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. Ooh, no. Tell me we do not have to encounter whatever that thing is. May 11th, 1998, at around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the sh out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. So there'd, there'd been an incident in the basement, an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12th, 1998, I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Oh, boy. You always gotta feed your dogs, man. May 13, 1998. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Don't we all? May 14th, 1998. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them. The last three days. If anyone finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th, 1998. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape this day last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all the time now. He scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? But he's turning. May 19th, 1998. Fury got itchy today, hungry, and eat doggy food. May 28th. Itchy, itchy Scott came ugly face, so kill him tasty. Four. Itchy tasty. Alright, so I'm gonna exit out, equip the shotgun, open up that closet, see what's behind there, kill whatever's behind there, and carry on with our lives. Is 
There's nothing else I can take, right? All right, let's. Uh... We ain't got no choice. What's that? We will take that good sir and uh, carry on. Thank you. Alright, I thought I had ammo. But I guess not. Oh, where's the map? <coughs> okay, so we're here. We've explored that room. It says in progress. Alright, because we still gotta put the... Gotta find a yellow gemstone and put that in there. Not exactly sure where to go next, because we've explored the basement. Um, you know, I didn't realize that it, it tells you which rooms have a 100% item pickup. I'm assuming this is the green color that it's referring to, but it looks a little different. Not sure, anyways. Alright, so, let's see. Some doors on the second floor. Probably go to those. Uh, we still got the key. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the second floor. Let's go find Barry. Let's see if we can find that dude. Alright, thankfully that one zombie's gone. So I don't know why, but that zombie scares the crap out of me. Picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight while the long sword. Okay. Every time I come to this room, this thing scares me, man. to the main lobby where we last saw Albert Wesker. Alright, what door have we not explored? Bottom right, bottom left. Let's go to this one since it's right here. Equip our favorite gun. You know, I'd carry the shotgun the whole time, but... Oh boy. But ammo is scarce. Where are we? On the map, it looks... Ooh. This looks like a balcony of sorts. Alright. No sign of zombies, but more ammo. We're dangerously approaching the 99 mark, which I'm ass I'm assuming that'll be the max for one clip. What is that? It's a person. And a gun. Oh, a dagger. Let's go. God. Oh god. <sighs> Is there anything around that corner? For safety reasons, we will, uh, shock him. We'll take an herb. Just one. Oh my god, what happened? Oh my god. He's alive. Oh crap, he's alive. 
Um, I'll take this one. <laughs> Come on, sir. Come at me. I don't know what that was. Okay, run. Oh boy. Never going back in there. Okay, so it says in progress still because there's still the two <laughs> the two herbs we didn't pick up um, but yeah we're never going back in there but there's a door up ahead I wish I could put a cursor over things so I can show you guys what I'm talking about but I will show you Mean. I know the longer we keep exploring, the the more we keep playing this game, the harder enemies are gonna get, and it's it's not gonna be a fun time, man. I'm already scared. Where are we? Okay, yep. So this is the room I wanted to show you guys. I think. <laughs> find out oh my god who's Richard that? Richard what happened you're wounded <laughs> this whole place is a killing zone uh, there are monsters <laughs> what did this to you a big snake no and it had to be poisonous no. poisonous Richard hold on Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Serum. Thanks. Serum. The safe room, right? I think that's where we saw vials of old serum. Wow, they even tell you. Wow, how nice of them. But yes. Okay. Why weren't why aren't they nice enough and tell me that before? <laughs> or like do that for other things. But um let's explore this room up here, because I think we can open that now. Big double doors. Just trying to open up as many doors as I can. Puzzle. Alright. Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch here. Press it. Probably not. Not until I can figure out what's going on here. I wish I could see those pictures. Looks like the first one has a shield. The second one is an axe. Not sure what the third guy has up there. I think like a crossbow of sorts. And... The last one has a... It's called a javelin. Is that all the clues I get? You can push these, right? No clues? The sleeping knight. Oh my god. Another sleeping knight. Do they come to life? <laughs> Tell me they don't come to life. Um, I feel like those pictures might have a clue. Two are red, two are green. I think maybe the green ones go first. I'm not exactly sure. Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, let me just press it. Oh god. Okay. So <laughs> poisonous gas. Um if I go in will I die? Trying to remember how much I've done. I think after I got the save, did I go to the closet? To the room with the closet? No, right? No? Yes? Oh, this is bad. If I go in, I'm dead. If the gas is still there. Hold on. Hold on. They don't all come out at the same time, do they? Or I think they move in a specific order? They do. They all moved except one, which was this guy. I'm pretty sure this guy moved first. And then this one. And then this one, and if not, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it looks like Buddy at the top right twitched first. Like you, you kind of have to pay attention to it to see. But this one clearly twitched third. While the, I'm guessing the guy at the top did not twitch at all, but if this is wrong, I'm dead. Oh god, okay. <laughs> We're not dead yet. What is this now? Um, but before I open it, I'm gonna go outside, just in case. Just in case. Triggers that gas again. Literally cannot die. Let's examine real quick. So it's a box. Any type of there's a switch where you press it. Sunshine will awaken me. Okay. It appears as if you failed. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, makes sense. All right, so you Okay, this is this is interesting. So, can I start with this? Oh, you can't. <laughs> Oh. oh, okay. I'm dumb. The clue is literally right in front of our faces. It said sunshine will awaken me. You gotta do the sun, not the moon. And then you do corresponding half, so left half, right half. And we got the first death mask out of four, which I remember was down in that tomb. Um, out in the cemetery that we've explored in part one, I believe. And there was that mysterious coffin. Right? The mysterious coffin. Okay, so we need to find three more. And we also have to head back to the safe room. Trying to think what the quickest way back there is. Can 
Can we get there from the second floor? So I'm trying to avoid as much zombies as possible. But there was also a safe room on the first floor. Somewhere. Typewriter. Because if you go back up, down. Hmm. I'm trying to think what's the best option here. Because we have to go back for the serum anyways. <sighs> okay. And I need to find an herb. Like ASAP. It's one more hit and I'm dead. Okay. So the safe room. Yeah, so we go. Okay. Starting to memorize the important routes. Ish, kind of. Not really. And that stupid grandfather clock. Scary. So we go straight. I mean, we're going straight, right? Take this door right here. And... Zombie. No zombie? Okay. There's, there's one here. I know that much. God, I can't run past zombies, bro. Especially this one. Jesus. I've seen people make it look so easy. I think I'm just rusty. So I used to be able to do it in Resident Evil 4 all the time. Alright, so we can leave the mask. Pretty sure we don't need that right now. But I don't think I'll need the launcher. Give me the mixed herbs. And take a serum. Take a serum. Use that. <clears throat> and like I mentioned in previous parts, if you mix one green herb and a red herb, you basically get max health. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should take. Not sure what else we will need, but I will go ahead and save my progress there. I think we'll go ahead and stop right there since we are going to pass the 40 minute mark. And we've made some progress. Not a whole lot, but some. <laughs> I guess just a quick recap. We ran around, opened up some doors, checked out some things. It looks like we cleared most of the first floor on the, on the west side. It's a couple doors, a couple rooms that still require some exploring that small room you see on the far left we need to find a yellow stone yellow gem whatever it may be put that in there get whatever else is in there um the room right below it there's a, there has to be a secret to it there's that piano and the musical score I'm not sure what else
I mean, I think that's all we have so far. We found one mask. Now we need to put, we need to find three more. We got the... What was that guy's name? Richard? That Richard cutscene. We found another Dead Stars member. Fun times. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, and end that part there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would appreciate it if you guys left a like down below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and comment down. What do you think of the series so far? Are you as scared as I am every single time we turn the corner? Or are you just laughing at me every time I hesitate? <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this part. Take care and see you next time.